Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a code forces B problem. The problem name is New Year and Ascent Sequence. So let us talk about that. It is a Hello 2022 contest. So the problem statement states that you are given a sequence like this, as you can see here. Okay, of length L and it has an ascent. If there exists a pair IJ such that I and J are not same and J like a of j is greater than a of l. So, which means that if there an, exists any pair such that the right value is greater than the left value, if you make a pair like this, then that is that particular, you can say, array or sequence has an ascent in it. Okay. Now, as you can see with this example, if you take 0 and let's say 2, okay, then taking these two numbers, it has an ascent. Okay, now what the project when moves like this is that you are given multiple sequences. Okay, and you can concatenate two sequences like this. So let's say one sequence, let's say P and other is Q. You will directly just join them out let's, like this. Now, what you are also given is that you are given N sequences and you will form pairs out of it. Now, you just have to tell us that how many pairs are such that if you join them, you will get an ascent in them. Okay, that's the overall problem statement. Now the consider pretty much long, so you cannot do this in O of n square by joining every two uh, pairs, like every two, like you can say sequences. Let's talk about and see those sequences. How the example goes like this. These are the two examples. So what you can see is that seven total joining are there, which leads to an ascent in that. Okay, there are three. Sequences that are given to you, as you can see, that is n is this, and how this is given as an input. What you can see is that the first number denotes out what is the sequence length, and then it gives the sequence. So the first sequence is let's say of uh, length four, so it it is given four to you, and then the sequence. So next sequence is of length six, six numbers, one one number. Okay. So this is how the sequence is given to you. Now you have to just find a number of pairs that like how many pairs you can form any pair. Okay such that uh, those pairs are such that uh, they form a particular, you can say, uh, ascent in those. Now what you can see is, you can, you have to now find out those. Now you can also join the same, like you can say, join the same sequence again as well. Okay. The only thing is that you have to form a pair out of it. Now, the overall idea is that they can have multiple approaches to solve this problem out, but one of the easiest approaches instead of counting out a number of pairs that are valid, count out a number of pairs that are not valid and then subtract out from all the possible pairs. So all the possible pairs is n in because if there is let's say n sequences, so total number of pairs is n into n. So I just now have to find out all the sequences or all the pairs actually which are invalid, which I join does not give us a correct answer. Uh, now how can I find those out? The first thing which comes to my mind is that uh, first check can we just check out that any sequence has any pair in that that is giving it an ascent. Now how can we check that if any pair inside an array is that the if I make that as a pair the right element is larger than this element then that is false which means that it should not be in an increasing order or any element should be there so if I just take it the very reverse it should be in a decreasing order if it is in a decreasing order then there will be no pair such that uh, if I take any pair it will be giving or satisfying this condition so let's say if I take this let's say six five four three if i take this other let's say sequence then i cannot make any pair such that the one on the right hand side is larger because it's a decreasing sequence so what i can see is that i can own if there is any like the, if this is not decreasing then it will always exist a pair that you can take it as an ascent and it is not our condition so i only want the sequences that doesn't have any ascent in them so all the sequences that are decreasing in nature will only be considered but because we are concatenating two sequences, then it can also happen that let's say that this is larger than the other sequence. Let's say one, two, three, four. 
or let's say this is the decreasing sequences. So let's say if I take any like two decreasing sequences. Let's say if I take decreasing like this. This is decreasing. This is also satisfying condition that there is no you can say ascent in this sequence, but and this sequence. But if I combine them, then this will give an ascent. I hope you get the point. So I have to first find out all our decreasing sequence because although decreasing sequence will not have an ascent in them, in respectively in them, but I ha I have to only form the concatenation of only those sequences such that they will not give ascent to combined form of that. Now how can I check that out? There are multiple approaches again. Let's just if I take this example only. Let's if I take this as a sequence that has no ascent in them. Then what I can do is that if I take the largest one out of it, then what I can do is that I can put a sequence back of it that is having all the numbers larger than six that is in decreasing order only. Okay, so if I have a sequence, let's say like nine, eight, okay, sorry, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, this is increasing, decreasing, okay, decreasing sequence. So nine, eight, seven. This sequence is also in decreasing in nature, that is, it doesn't have an ascent, this doesn't have an ascent, and combined it doesn't have an ascent because the largest one inside this. It's such that the, the previous element, the smallest one, the smallest one also is larger than this, this element. So even if I take a pair of the smallest one with, with the very largest one in this, it will still be false and it will not give an asset. So I just come to a conclusion that I will only focus on the largest and the smallest in all the sequences. The largest and the smallest one. The whole sequence that doesn't matter because I just have to take out all the sequences and I will put it in in front of this sequence. So let's say I will talk about every sequence one by one. Like for every sequence, I will find out all those sequences such that the smallest of that sequence should be larger than this sequence, the current sequence largest one. Okay. Now to find out that I have a current, like I have to also do it in a very optimal way. So I have a complete sequences. I, have, I will go over all these sequences one by one. And I can take out all the sequences that are first decreasing in nature completely. I can check out for every sequence that is decreasing in nature. I can take out all those sequences, put it inside an array. And I will only talk about the smallest and the largest. Even if I have the sequences that are decreasing in nature, I will only take out the ones that are uh, decreasing. And I will only take out the smallest and the largest one and make a pair out of it. And then I can sort these out. Okay, after sorting these out by the smallest and the largest one, I, like the smallest and largest one depicts out the sequence because in the middle, I don't care about that. I'll only talk about the extremes of that given sequence. Now, my only condition is that for every i sequence, I will check that how many sequences are there such that the smallest of any sequence is like you can say all the sequence that has the smallest one, uh, you can say larger than the largest one of this given sequence. Okay. So what I can do is that I can, because I've sorted, I have to find out the sequence. I can do, let's say, you can say binary search on them to find out those one that are giving, uh, fulfilling this condition. For that in C++, I can use like lower bound. And that's it. So that's the logic that you have to use to solve this particular problem. Or I will move on to the code part to even make it more clear. So let us talk about the code now here itself. So what we have done is that we have taken all the inputs, the total number of sequences we have, then total number of answer, like all the possible answers n into n that we have told you. Then we'll make out a pair of vector that will store out the minimum and maximum of sequence that is decreasing in nature. So I will read it over all the sequence one by one. First find out and take the sequence input that is here. Check out that that, that, that sequence is decreasing in nature or not. If it is decreasing in nature, find out that it's smallest one because it's decreasing. So last one is smallest and the front one is biggest. So make a pair out of it and push it inside this vector that will store up all the decreasing sequences and only the extremities, the smallest and the largest one. After that, I have sorted out this list so that I can do binary search on that. Now iterating over all the sequences one by one. And what I'll eventually have to find out is that I have to find out and do binary search on this array you have the sorry vector you can say that this is a vector finding out and make a pair and find out all the sequences 
that are you can say for every ith sequence the ith sequence larger one is a i dot second and i will find out among all the sequence which smaller one so smaller one in this array is stored at the first position so i put this a of i dot second that is the larger one in the first position so that i will find out all the sequences such that the smaller one is larger than the largest element in the given sequence i have and this minus one denotes so that i will get the first element like the first sequence if there are multiple occurrences i will get the very first because i have to read all of them and that will start lower bound will get from the very begin but i have to get out all the larger ones so larger one will be coming at the end so i have total n you can say the total n means that the total length of this uh, you can say all the sequences i have which are valid so a dot size minus the one so this is which i got in the front but i eventually want this at the back ones so i will just subtract it out here and i will get the total number of sequences that are fulfilling the condition i hope you understand whatever the logic is you can check out this statement to get it more clearly and in the end i will just print out the answer and every sequences which fulfill the condition that are invalid i will subtract those sequences from the answer because it's invalid in the end i will only have those the one which are valid and just print it out that's it that's our logic and the code part for this particular problem so this is done in o of n log n so the overall complexity is o of n log n only because this is o of n log n this is uh we have sorted o of n log n so the overall diversity turns out to be o of n log n which is uh like easy enough to solve that given time machine that's it that's the whole logic in the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the coin box of this particular video i will see you in the next one coding and bye